David Japins Oloka, the former senior accountant's assistant at the Ministry of Public Service, who is charged jointly with the former public service principal accountant, Christopher Obey, has pleaded guilty to the charges. Oloka entered into a plea bargain agreement with the DPP in which he agreed to refund over 365 million shillings he took, plus paying an additional fine of about 30 million shillings. According to Jen Kajuga, DPP's PRO says, Oloka had accepted liability and that through the plea bargain program, the DPP asked him to refund all the money he took, plus paying 30 million shillings in exchange of being let off the hook. Oloka accepted to pay this money to Bank of Uganda. Barbara Kauma, who represented the DPP in court while reading the summary of the case, told court that the former principal accountant in the pensions department, Christopher Obey, who is currently on remand at Luzira in another pension case, wrote the requisition letter that Olaka presented to Cairo International Bank along Kampala Road for the payment of foreign pensioners to be effected. While accepting the plea bargain agreement between the DPP and the convict, the magistrate held that the criminal justice system encourages plea bargain due to its advantages, including being a faster process of disposing of cases, reduces congestion at Luzira prison, and encourages reconciliation among the parties. The magistrate also noted that the convict had not wasted court's time of going through a full trial, hence the leniency. Olaka was formerly one of the nine suspects in the collapsed 165 billion pension case that was dismissed by the anti-corruption court in April this year due to lack of seriousness from the prosecution. The dismissal of the case saw the DPP Mike Chibita reorganize himself to split the pension case into four smaller cases. They include payment made to foreign pensioners in which Oloka has just pleaded guilty to the same, payments made to NSSF, which case is ongoing with the three former top officials from the Ministry of Public Service, including Jimmy Ramafa, former permanent secretary, and Obey, are facing trial. The remaining two cases involve money paid to a city law firm of Bob Kasango and the main pension case.